Angstrom Levy is one of, if not my favorite Invincible villain of all time. And that says a lot, because Invincible's got a lot of good villains. I'll be doing a Kyoto analysis of him today in celebration of the finale for season two, which I thought was done amazingly, but I'm still more of a fan of the comic book. I will get into the comic spoilers, but that will be later, and I will give a spoiler warning when that comes. Spoiler alert, uh, that doesn't happen in this video, but yeah. I will get into the. Yeah. Amstrong Force came about in season 2, or about issue 16 or 14 in the comic. He was given the power tra to travel dimensions when he was born. He gathered all his other dimensional selves so he can gather knowledge from the dimensions to help out all own. He wanted to create a utopia. He breaks the Marvel twins out of jail, which already reveals that he's willing to help villains out for greater good, something that will come into play later on. He also threats to keep the Marvel twins in an empty desert forever, which I think comes into my first point. I believe Angstrom Levy always had a little bit of villainous side to him. That throughout the dimensional variants of him, evil is deep inside. And I'm not saying he was like Omni-Man or something, but I think that there was a little bit of evil in him. So when the machine goes wrong and they all go in one body, it pu puts all like the evil he had stored up, the little bits, deep inside of one. Now, I'm not saying he's like, yeah, I'm not saying his suit like he was mustache twirling evil, but I think he had some built bad stuff. I think he's willing to do some bad things. But anyways, the Marvel twins help him build his machine. He's about to build his utopia, and everything is swell till Mark shows up to destroy whatever the Marvel twins are up to. Mark ends up getting beaten pretty bad by the Marvel twins and is about to die, all while Angstrom is screaming, pleading for them to stop. He says one of my favorite lines from him. I won't! My utopia with blood. This shows that Inkstrom didn't want Mark to die. This is why I believe after the accident happens and the whole machine explodes that Inkstrom turns evil after this point. Inkstrom Levy vows to kill Invincible after this point. We don't see Inkstrom for a while. The comic and show pretty much have no changes between the two so far. But after this, one of, one of my favorite fights in Invincible, the show and comic are pretty different. So I'm going to be comparing the two. But before that, let me give you a summary. So Mark is with Amber and Eve in Africa, at least in the comic, when he gets a phone call from his mom to f and he flies home. He reaches his home and sees An Angstrom Levy with his mom and little brother Oliver. Invincible is furious, but Angstrom Levy sends him through multiple dimensions, including Spider-Man, The Walking Dead, and some dinosaur dimension. Angstrom Levy sends him... Yeah. Ingstrom says that he won't hold his parents as long as he can give up and let Ink and let Mark die. Mark ends up getting tackled. Mark ends up tackling Ingstrom after Ingstrom had messed up his mom pretty bad. Invincible starts screaming at Ingstrom, throwing him around in three different u universes until they end up in a desert universe. Mark, well, he's beaten. He beats Ingstrom pretty bad, brutally, to death. Now in this fight, Ingstrom reveals that he had. The technicians, which are people from another universe, to fix him and put him back together and making him stronger. This is where the famous line, I thought you were stronger, comes in. Now, after this, after this is comic spoilers, which is the Invincible War and some other stuff. After that, but I'm going to save that for part two to this video.